Hey, hey, welcome to the Red State Update Podcast. This is Jackie Brawls Podcast. I'm Dunlap. Yep, and on this, and, uh, this week, we got a good sponsor. Um, uh, I do, anyway. I don't know what you got to say, but it's an uh, old buddy, and things are, well, are better than they were, but ain't quite like they should be. That's old Dr. Birdman. Now, he wants to thank you all again for all the letters you wrote to the, the judge and the police officer, all the letters you wrote him. He appreciates that letter writing campaign. He can't thank you enough. And he, he clutch it touched his heart, too. But he, it did come down that they don't have enough evidence. I think that's the case, but they have released him on his own recognizance at this time. Now, he can't leave, you know, in, you know he can't leave Murfreesboro, uh, you know, anytime soon. But, you know, he's got reason to stay here besides uh, police making him stay or judge, whatever. So, Dr. Birdman is having uh, this this coming week. Come out and see him and, and thank him for, for, you know, all he's done for the community and, you know, be grateful that he's, he's out of out of jail, out you know, they got to let him go. Uh, he's going to have the uh, uh, Hurtbird, a uh, free Hurtbird rally. And it's right off of Square. Uh, go on down there. And as you know, now he's been out for a while. Uh, Hurtbird... No one has seen hide no hair of Hurtburg because animal control has got a hold of it. And for whatever reason, they let Dr. Birdman out. They ain't letting Hurtburg out. So animal control still has ghost bird. It's Hurtburg. Don't st- see that stuff. When you say stuff like that, that's how this rumors get started. People say, uh, uh a ghost bird, which is not, he's heart bird, he's heart, he ain't a ghost, he ain't dead. He's we just saw hurt. when the fireworks, go back and listen to our was July, just... post-July 4th episode, we talk about what we saw when the fireworks were oh. going off and Don Jekyll Jr. had them over in the Little Lots parking lot. There was so spooked. much going off, the, the transistor thing blew up on the on the pole the, the light, the sparks are flying everywhere, plus all the fireworks going crazy and just all the noise in your head make it ring. And it looked like it was, a, I said, it just an optical illusion. Like, a, you know, that's what that was. You look up in that, you see all that combined, it looks like a glowing ghost or whatever you want to call it, it but that ain't what it is. What I'm worried about is that the powerful spirit of oh. Ghost Bird has left it's mortal body, no heartbird. One, first off, no one has confirmed that heartbird is dead. Animal control will not comment on this. That's another thing that makes everything fishy. Now, you know, right. rumors well, got started because everybody got sick. Uh, all the people at work there, they had to bring in some people from, uh, you know, from out of town to come take a place, animal control. Right. Now, some they, of these people were wearing military uniforms, but that's just because they had training in animal whatever. See, I've heard were, that they got... Hartbird at Area 51. No, they, Is that it? Area 51? They don't. They don't. There's rumors saying Air Force guy at Air 51. That's how these things get started. That they're when you experimenting start saying, on him. They're trying no, to tap into his power. No. That's, that's what the word on the street is. That's just silly. Now, people, a reason people saw service men uh, going into animal control is because they... Well, the only people they could get at that time, they come in the field slot when all the people at animal tr- control got sick. Now, everybody's saying that's a curse, whatever. Ghost bird did something to them. That ain't true. But listen, they work at animal control. How many animals they get in there all the time got all sorts of diseases? And it's just a mess. Just the fur coming out and slobbering, the eyes, uh, you know, all matted up. All that. They, they deal with sick animals all the time. Now, sometimes the animals all right. Now, Hurtbird is sick. I ain't saying he ain't sick. We all know how, you know, Hurtbird, sick Hurtbird is. But uh, what I heard was they moved him from animal control because he was making everybody sick with no. his powers. No. And they, so all the animal control people got sick and they had to move him underneath the MTSU Blue Raiders training facility. No, that's another room. Where the water around. boys were taking care of him, and they got sick, and then the military moved in. They're that's just saying that. The latest I heard. Because them water boys all got sick at the same time. Uh, soon after Air Patrol, is how these rumors get started. And not to mention the football team. Well, they did, yeah. All of them got sick. You know, but that they all together in the shower, everything else. One of them sick, all of them going to get it. That's how it is. 
They you, they you everywhere together. So do you start these rumors? Shower, if you shower together, let me just say, a shower should keep you healthier because you're washing all the germs away. Well, yeah, I ain't you, you in a shower with a bunch of other 20-year-old, young, muscular men, and uh, you're getting all clean and soaped up and yeah. slick. Well, that sounds to me like the healthiest place you can be. Well, take a shower is good. I'm just saying that's the level of intimacy that these gentlemen are involved with one another. They all use these lockers, and they all go out together after game. Do this and that. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that's what the point I was trying to make. It ain't showers. It makes them sick. I ain't saying that. But so I'm just, it's like they just just the hanging out and just the everywhere the now general they, intimate contact day to day. Out on the field oh, when man. they tackle each other, go down on the ground. They, you know, I know they got pads on and, and helmet, but still, you can you the diseases can. That's how things spread when you get to, uh, you know, rough rolling houses. around yeah. on the ground in the mud and the dust. Yes, yeah. with with your, with your, all your friends, just being filthy. Well, and then you got to go get in the shower. It's the same, like I said, clean well, up. Well, after they finish playing, that's what they do. Yeah, but. In, in We're talking them. about the MTSU football team. Well, yeah, yeah, boy. And then they got sick. Well, they did, yeah. That's all we're saying because of ghost bird. Well, heart bird. And no, heart not bird. because of heart bird. Heart bird's an animal control. I don't know why animal control's doing what they do. There is a big trial that's coming up concerning this, you know, the spectacular fireworks, 4th of July thing, whatever. Uh, it was heart bird to see him fly across a, a big lost parking lot. But they, but lots of things are involved now. John Jacob Jr., you're a good friend. Yep, you're my a buddy. criminal. Yeah, he's still locked up. He is still in Coley's prison. Now I think part of the reason that he is ain't necessarily because of this, but for several outstanding warrants beforehand. But still, this don't help this situation uh, that he was involved in. No, it does not help. Her. No, it's no. weird. I reached out to him recently. I was like, hey, how you doing? Ow. You know, I sent him a letter, and Ow. he sent me back a lot of Marxist propaganda, so I'm not sure huh. what is ha- I don't know if he's going through some sort of Malcolm X well, met uh, Rock in prison, and now he's going to be something else. That's just more reasons not to... He was already a criminal. If now he's, he's going through some sort of transformation. If he's communist, Malcolm X, all that mess, then you, there's another reason not to stay around him. Just You ought not pe- have people like that in your life. You, they're going to bring trouble every time. He's a convict. He's in jail. He's locked up. He is. He's in a lot of trouble, folks. So I guess Dr. Birdman gets to run around the streets after endangering... The lies he of birds. Did, he they did not do any such thing. And there's a rumor going around about that that he's got a curse on him. That ain't the truth. Now, how if, many curses can Doctor Birdman? As many as idiots can make up, I reckon, because none of this is true. Now, if he's like now, the Herbert rally's gonna be indoors. Now, there's a race for that. When he goes outside. When they let him out of jail, all the way to the car, and any time, you know, the press follow this and that, birds are swooping down at him and this and that. Now, this ain't no curse. These are some of the birds that got let loose, uh, you know, when all this went down. Now, these birds, imagine, it's just like, you know, your daddy left you, and that wasn't his fault. That was because they locked him up, and they think they've been a baddie, and they, you know, hold grudges. But you know how a bird, bird is if you had a parrot or anything like that, you know, this but anyway, they they hold grudges and they swooping down at him, and, and this is because of the uh, Murphy's Borough Police locking him up in Coley's jail, a uh, prison. It, it it's their fault because they had they just there was no reason to do that to begin with, and that, you know he would have never. Been, them birds would come right back. So down. you're saying that these birds are attacking him because he left them. And they love him so he much. He was taken. Not because of he, years of mistreatment. What? And the sale. He didn't and know. And trafficking. Of, he fed them and bathed them and took care of them. He was with them as much as any football player on Blue Raiders team, MTSU team. He was with them, birds, 24-7. Always that, with them. And no, and then suddenly he is. He didn't leave them. He was taken away in handcuffs like a common criminal, thrown in a car, and held in that uh, uh, cold prison for I don't know how long. 
It's been a while. He's out now. They finally realized I ain't got nothing to hold him on. And they kept him that long. So it's been a long time. This is just like your daddy. You'd get mad when your daddy leave you here at the store. And he'd be gone. Your mom be on vacation, whatever, whatever the hell she's doing. But he'd leave you here at the store. And then he'd leave. Say, I'll be back in a few hours. It's another week. And I got to, you know, put your mat back there in the back room. And, you know, leave you in the store that long. I fed you and took care of you. But you cussed your old daddy up and down. You cried your eye, little eyes out. I never forget. Get. Mad as could be. Where's my daddy? My daddy coming back. Daddy, I said, well, I we hope so. I don't know. You know, I wouldn't lie to a child. I didn't know. You know, daddy, your daddy, where he was, he'd go out, you know, come back and broke a neck. Or, you know, who knows what he's going to do. It's so cold back there. I'm well, on my mat in the storeroom. Well, you had a place to stay, didn't you? So cold. I had... I fed you and clo- you had a place to stay. Had to take you home, give you a bath about midweek. Speaking of size. Can I tell you, you don't ever let Jackie Bros get Miss Bros give a good bath. So if you up, have fun, well, she come duck back in the tub. She'd check on you all the time, yeah. Jackie, throw you in the tub cold. Wash it, wash it all. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. What do you mean, throw you in there? Give you a rough you up, you. rag. Well, heart rough rights. rag. You get your soap and you soap up and clean yourself. They, uh, what, uh, he didn't tell fun. me a story. It, it ain't playtime, fun time. It's he didn't bait. sing me no song. Oh, hell. He didn't tell me how handsome and strong I look. What? It, no, you take a bath, you take a bath. Now, if, if Miss Bros won't make it happen, fun time, that's fine. Y'all have a good time. Washed my door. hair with Ajax, got all in my I eyes. I didn't get no Ajax. It was in the wrong spot, and I thought it was other shampoo. Ajax is not shampoo. Well, I know that now. I, you know, it's been years since I had any child around there. Miss Bros, I'll say, I had to work. She took care of her most of the time. And around the time you come over, Miss Bros, you know, have a tired day. She wasn't as bad as she is now, but she'd have a tired day, what we call it. She'd need to lay down all day. And then I'd come home, have to clean you up. Just be glad you had everybody to clean you up. You could have been living out in the street. Oh, the, you know, kind of come up and snatch you up. You'd still be in there, the heartburn, for all I know. This is when Mama was married to her, uh, Randy number one. He work on them cruise ships. She go with him. Ever so often she go on all of them, but she'll be gone for a while. Randy number two worked on the General Jackson, so he stayed closer to home. But well, also she, still work on she like she like a man in a sailor suit. Well yeah. Some women like that sort of thing, I guess. So let me get this straight. So there is a uh what's your sponsor? It's a, I stud said what it was. It is the Dr. Birdman. It out is, of jail. He is out of jail. Him and P-Top are getting together. And P-Top? Putting, P-Top. He's, P-Top Clark? No, not P-Top Clark. It's an organization to help animals. It's a people for ethical treatments of animals whenever possible. Oh, P- the good one. P-Top, yeah, yeah. The one know. that's easier to get along with. Well, yeah, you know, uh, Pete is crazy as hell. I don't know, you know, but this, you know, don't kick a dog. Everybody agree with that. But yeah. Anyway, that's... well, yeah, so they're trying to help him. They helped put up this, uh, uh, Dr. Birdman and P-Top put up this rally. P-Top Clark? No, I just told you what it was. Oh. I just told you, P-Top, paper that for the ethical confusing. treatment of animals whenever possible. Because there's P-Top Clark, and then there's... P-Top, the people for the ethical treatment of animals whenever possible. That's what I'm talking about, them. Yeah, not the man, not the name, P-Top. I'm talking about the organization. Them and Dr. Hurtbird putting a, a free Hurtbird rally. Now, that's coming up this Thursday, right off of Square. Oh, and I'm supposed to mention this, too. It's not, not too far down the street. It's a smaller rally, but you remember Jimmy... Uh, help oh, Dr. Birdman. Dr. Dr. Birdman's henchman, who's well, been no, on the run he ain't no ever hench- since the 4th of July, he went ain't down. no henchman. He just a drifter. He, when Dr. Birdman be kind enough, like I was kind to you, take you in and give you a bath, Dr. Birdman helped us. I man. was a child. Well, Dr. Birdman's friend Jimmy is a grown but man he give him, who is a drifter. He gave him some work. He gave him shifty. Some- 
He I ain't shit that he give him some work. He down on his luck. That's just some people. That's that lot in life. So be it. But thank goodness there's people like Dr. Burbank to help him out. Now, you like you said, he been missing. They've been looking for him to testify on now, all these happenings. He was there that night, and he hadn't been gone. But they picked him up off of I-40. I was pleading for him to come in, and they picked him up off of I-40. Uh, brought him in, and I, like I said, I feel bad about this, so I'm going to have to go over this rally for a little bit, because I told Jimmy, come back, they just won't talk to you, but evidently they're holding him, so yeah, down the street, uh, right off the square, off the square, down, down further down, is a free, uh, uh Jimmy rally, I'm going to make an appearance here, but it is a lot smaller, just a few, you know, uh, people like himself, drifter, vagrant, whatever, going to be there. Well, that sounds like a, more fun of a rally. Well, they're going to be there around a the barrel, something talking, singing, I don't know what. But it's I don't Jimmy. get along with Jimmy, but we do have friends in common. All right, go down there, uh, fine. You can go to see Dr. Hurtbird, Birdman, whatever, Dr. Birdman's Dr. Birdman, damn say rally, his name right, yeah. Where he's getting uh, birds, a flock of birds follow him around and swoop and he, this is going to be inside, so they won't be swooping down on his head and pecking at his eyes and ears. What? Yeah, but wait. if you open a window or if anybody tries to go in or out, get back to their car or something, those birds are going to try to get in because these birds hate Dr. Birdman. Not because yeah, that bad they either. miss him, because they he rode them around in a flatbed truck with oh, a wire and a no. wind. No. Blew half her feathers off, and then he tried to sell them to drug dealers, and then he put them in a parking lot, it, all the big lots between here and Tupelo. Oh, come on. Now, birds love the wind. They in the wind all the time. They love the wind. They fly in the wind. And these birds are getting their revenge on Dr. Birdman, and he's having a rally to try to get Hurtbird back from either the feds or animal control or the MTSU water boys, possibly the football right, team. That's a bunch of bulls. Somebody's got Hurtbird and he wants Hurtbird back well, so he, that we can give him to him. Hurtbird is his property. It's his. It belongs to him. It's his property. He wants his bird back. And he has every right. That's reason having this free rally. Now, you sitting here making it sound like he's, he's uh, Alfred Hitchcock's birds coming at him all the time. It ain't like that at all. It's about like when you walk by. A uh, blue jay too close to it. We got eggs, baby birds. They, you know, I swoop at you. It's about like that. It ain't like a bunch of them. But Maybe they, two at most at a time. No, it is not like Alfred Hitchcock's bird. No. We didn't know why that was happening. And with Dr. Birdman's birds, it's personal. Oh, it is personal, but not for the reasons you're saying. And I'm going to have to call up P-Top, not P-Top Clark, but the organization, and let them know. Oh, and maybe I'll call up P-Top Clark, too, and just let just right. put my cards on the table and say, look, I don't know if you are an organization that helps animals. You should be trying to put Hurt Ghostbird back in the hands right. of the man Enough. who hurt him to begin it's with. It's his property. He li- li- live with that bird every day, the same like the other bears. birds. You don't even know how bad that bird's doing without him. You know, who knows what they're doing in there? They're just holding it up. He, you know, these birds, there's a lot of healing to be done between uh, Dr. Birdman and all of his birds, and it will happen, you know, and maybe it can all start at this free Hurt Bird rally this Thursday. Wait, sorry, say on seven. Yeah, it start, you get there at five, but they don't give cookie lemonade till seven. So, but you people can start coming at five. Bring signs. Wait. Uh, why can't they have the lemonade ready when people get there? It's like any party asks when it's served. Dinner is at this time. Well, it ain't Snacks. dinner, it's lemonade. You would have lemonade for people before you get the it dinner. At 7 gets o'clock. Out. You get it at 7 o'clock. You get it at 7 o'clock. Poor planning. Uh, whatever. You plan your own damn thing. See what they're serving down at Jimmy's rally. Just go I on will. down. I'll start. bet you it comes out of somebody's hip flask. All right. And it'll be ready at 5, 4.30. Midnight, whenever you get there, right. they're going to have something to drink at Jimmy's Rally. Now, again, I don't get along with Jimmy. He scares me, but we have friends in common. Well, Probably think, some of uh, the, the pre-greeters will, will show gonna, up at Jimmy's Rally. I'm going to make an appearance down there. I hope I don't see none of that mess. I'm coming down there to make an appearance because they holding Jimmy for no reason. As far as I know, they ain't got no reason to hold him after they question him. Need to let him loose. There ain't no right. Now, they need to let Hurtbird loose, too. So go down there. Hurt, burn, rally, uh, get that five uh, snacks and beverage served at seven, and then walk on down to uh, free Jimmy just for a little bit. Maybe I'll see you one of the two. 
I know there ain't no time like you said. There ain't no time at Jimmy Rally. He probably right. This is just off the square? Well, this is the rally's off the square, and then the other one's off off the square, like down one more block. I got you. Well, I got a sponsor uh, this week, Jackie. Wow. And And uh, it's also for an event that's occurring Thursday night. Huh? Um, at 7. That's conflicting sponsors well, right I didn't there. know. You can't, no, we... But I, it sounds like you can show up uh-huh. at your rally at five, then swing by Jimmy's at what? six. No, you go and then by you, at seven. You go to yours at, at five, and then come by and get well, my mine's seven. At seven. Well, you gonna miss out on cookies and lemonade. That's all I'm saying. If you leave well, at that time, I think we'll have some cookies and lemonade at at the. T.T. Slop Bottled Water Association and Coley's Christian Cinema's what? Peace Screening. Now, Jackie, you know there's been a lot going on this week. The, the Sullivan and McKinley uh, flare-ups, the violence, for no the reason. sign for, stealing, the, the people no calling each other names. Raging. There ain't no raging for any of it. Idiot. This town is on edge. Well, yeah. It, it's I, it, ridiculous. It's and neighbor no- against neighbor, brother against sister. Friend against buddy. No, it's a bunch of idiots mad at one another for no reason. There's no reason. And people... It's in, getting to the point where I, people I know had more sense than that to be on a side. What What the hell you got to pick a side for? And I say, well, you better hurry up, Jackie. It's, you know, before it's too late. I'm like, what do you mean before it's too late? People think you a, a bandwagon jump. Oh, hell. I don't have nothing to do with either one of them. People There's... choosing sides now can say, I was on Team Sullivan back before it was cool. Oh. Or I was on Team McKinley back before Jackie joined up. And I well, ain't going to join up. Ain't none of it cool. It's all stupid. Just briefly, uh, Sullivan, uh, <laughs> McKinley, air conditioning. Washing machines. No, I'm right. Air conditioning. What? You mix it up every time. Auto parts. And, uh, all right. Sullivan auto-, auto Parts. McKinley Air Conditioning. All right. Jackie always gets air conditioners and washing machines. Well, they just different, same kind of business, sort of. McKinley found a picture of his sister, Lynette. Oh, there was that- a man in a picture with his hand on Lynette's boot. No, Lynette even- is married. Her husband was in the wheelchair it Olympics. Don't- McKinley says it was Sullivan. Sullivan says that is not him in that picture. McKinley not says you got that scar on your matters. chin. Sullivan says that is a fleck that I'll... occurred in the photography or the development of the film. What? Just none of it. Why? Then even... Jackie said they were best of friends, and that stirred up all this trouble. Now the town is ripped asunder. Oh hell! Don't waste your breath on any of this. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody gives a damn. It's crazy. That may be true, Jackie, but I feel I need to update all right, our there's new no listeners. reason to. New, ain't nobody new. So this town has been, uh, already Sullivan run Jim Beavers of Comcast Cable off the road when he was installing cable over at McKinney's house. But no reason, no reason at all. He ain't got nothing to do on either side of this. People are. Got more sense in that. People are choosing sides and uh, people are fighting. People are arguing and the whole town is tense. And people want law and order. If there's anything we've learned in this world, it's you cannot just throw your town to the wind. And the mayor of Murfreesboro was derelict in his duties, said the Murfreesboro Ball Water Association, of well, which T.T. Slot is what? president. So I they, agree with that, but he, I don't agree with no, no prostitute organization. He should have taken care of this a long time ago because there ain't no reason for it. should have commented well, on it or something. not a prostitute organization. It's a bottled water association. She is a known prostitute. It is Former prost- prostitute. All right. And she, uh, in the charter, I mean, you may not know this, but the Murfreesboro Bottled Water Association is a powerful organization. And bylaws of the charter say if the mayor is derelict in his duty and providing law and order to the town of Murfreesboro, the Murfreesboro Bottled Water Association may step in, relieve the mayor of his duties, and make the town safe again. What? So that you can go down to Peanut Pocket Steakhouse with having a bunch of Nazis. All right. It's- and Peanut Pocket outfits, though. Shells at you. All right, enough. That they, they do. I'm not going to go into that story. That just listen. To they last have week's to podcast. do what they got to do to keep a business running. Although I don't know why anybody want to go eat there right now. But anyway, you can't so, go anywhere in this town. No, nope, that's fake. why Mayor TT Slot. Well, she's not what? mayor. No, she ain't. She merely runs the organization that controls the mayor's office in the what? town. They. 
So T.T. Slot is in control of Murfreesboro right now. No, not for officially. That's, that's crazy. Well, there's no, according to the bylaws, no need for elections. or Now, T.T. Slot's going to want to hold elections when things quiet down. What? When the situation is well under control. But for right now, T.T. Slot figures she is the best mayor. She's oh. not the mayor. She merely uh, runs an organization that controls the office of mayor and their I the read town. that the Water Bottle Association somehow had to do something else. I did I forgot she ran it. She's that, in charge. You can't have they President was in the paper that they Slott. stepped in and so you know them and a couple other businesses, but mainly them stepped in to get the governor stepped down or uh, mayor stepped down. Which, you know, he should, judging by what's going on. His town's going crazy like this. But T.T. Slot is no prostitute. That Former can't, prostitute. You can't be a mayor. Look, I, I can understand that you some people are going to be upset by this, but well, I think if you give her a chance, she's going to bring people oh, together. Right. That's crazy. She's a divider, not a conqueror. What? Or a divider. She's a uniter, not what? a divider. What? That's what I meant to say. I got uniter, not divider, and divide and conquer mixed up. Just like you get washing machines and air conditioning. Well, whatever. Up. There's no way. I don't understand. I read about this in the paper. It seemed kind of crazy, I know, but... Water Bottle Association, again, it wasn't just they were the main one, but some other businesses. Not the Water Bottle Association. It's the Bottled Water Association. The Water Bottle Association, that's Rio McElroy's organization. No, he, he is not happy about this. He's, he holds water. Well, he started his own rival, Bottled Water Association. What? Uh, water Bottle Association. There's the Bottled Water. Look, it's simple. I, There's... T.T. Slots, Murfreesboro Bottled Water Association has seized control of the mayor's office. Well, she run water, whatever bottle of water run. Uh, Rio the, McElroy started out the of business bottle of water, water association. Right, they took his his uh, hoses away because he was racist. So, the, oh. so TT Slots Bottle Water Association t- took <laughs> Rio McElroy's hoses away because he was racist. He started the bottle the water bottle association. Oh, uh, but now he's saying he's going to secede. What? He's saying he can't stay, stay in a town where T.T. Slot is mayor. He's going to succeed. What is your sponsor? You're just telling all this stuff. What are you, how is this your sponsor? It's, uh, my head's spinning. I don't. I well, when you uh, wake up and you're like, what? why am I in the city limits of Hoseboro? It's because what? Rio McElroy started his own city on the outskirts. Hose. The sponsor, Jackie, is the Bottle Water Association, T.T. Slot, in the town of Murfreesboro. It's paired up with Coley's Christian Cinemas. Now, that may raise some eyebrows, I but don't... who among us has not been a prostitute? Well, Cast that... the first stone. Well, that's what Jesus did, so maybe they... They are sponsoring a peace screening for some unity in this town well, for good. once. I'll get behind that. Thank goodness somebody's sane. It's like I said, my head's spinning from all the craziness going on. This they town. want to bring together Sullivan and McKinley, find a movie that's about people coming together, about brotherhood, about yeah. overcoming differences, Yeah. and they think it's going to be blended. What is it? The Adam Sandler, Drew oh. Barrymore. Adam, I can't. Why now they're you? waiting to hear from Camp Sullivan and Camp McKinley to see if they can agree that that is the movie. Once they have agreements from both Sullivan and McKinley, then uh, uh, prisoners from Coley's prison will begin work editing the movie Those to make are, it more Christian friendly. They's the one that, that tears the pages out of the Bible, put it in the bags for the Coley yeah, snacks. That's. Yeah. Editing, basically. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So they're the prisoners are the ones that edit these movies up, make them uh, take out all the cussing, take out all the damn what nudity. You, if you're trying to have a piece of it, you're going to show something like Adam Sandler on That's just going to rile everybody well, up. Well, because it's two families come together, and then they go to Africa. Well, go to Africa. So, they, you know, we have a lot of options on the table. So Sullivan McKinley could come back with other choices. We hope the negotiations don't drag on too long because we've already got uh, Coley's Christian Cinema's book. 7 p.m. Thursday night. I bet that's... Go to, go to Hurtbird, Free Hurtbird Ghost Bird Rally. Then go to Jimmy's uh, Drifter Rally. Then go to damn Coley's Christian Cinema, T.T. Slot, Ball Water Association, Town of Murfreesboro. Peace screening of 
possibly blend it. Well, that's fine. If y'all want to go do that, that's, uh, this town does need to, you know, uh, get get everything right, get everything together, the way things going. I, I support, fully support a peace rally, even if prostitutes involved, folk prostate, whatever you call it. But I'm going to say yes right now. I'm going to say it right now. That's just going to leave uh, more lemonade cookies for me. Hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-timey country down-home Red State Update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Hey, Jackie Bros. Hey, everybody, Dunlap over here holding down this corner. Yeah. For the right, Dunlap. And uh, for the left, Mr. Jackie Bro. I ain't for no left. Don't Welcome take... to Crossfire. No, it's both for right. Oh, that's right. So just regular people talking. Yeah. No arguing. Down to earth. How do we have two people on the right and all the show is is arguing? You don't argue about politics. You make everything personal. You bring up people's past and lives and stuff that nobody wants to hear about. It, it, I'm like the Lee Atwater of this podcast. Huh. No, it's just you run your mouth and trying to be smart. Smart you're, mouth. And, you're oh, a smart mouth. You are the smart mouth. You're the one that thinks you're cute cussing and everything else. <laughs> I slap that smirk right off your asshole face. Hey, hey, watch your mouth. I get up walk the hell out of here right now. What? Where would you go? I home. Can I come with you? No, you can't come with me. Hell no! I'm locking the store. The store locked up. We get off work. Come down here and do this. Can we watch that rock for files we were looking at the other day? If you won't come over, if you act right and don't start cussing everything else, you won't come over and watch a rock for file. That's fine. Now after that, you gotta go. Tom Selleck was in it. Be nice. You say hi, Miss Broles, every now and then. I say hi to her. From, I mean, like, I'm in the, hey, Miss Bro, she's back in the bedroom, and I'm in the kitchen. Well, yeah. Taking some jelly home. Oh, I grabbed a bunch of jelly last time I was over there. What, the jelly? Yeah, I had peanut butter, I had a jelly to make a delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich with, so I oh, took, yeah, you had yeah, strawberry. Yeah. I left all the homemade ones, okay? Well, good. I don't, I don't and the, give me something, thank goodness. Jar with the tape on it. It said something, scratch on there, bury this, whatever. Left all that. I took the smuckers. Hey. The good stuff. It ain't enough you steal every bear in the store. You got to come over to my house and okay. steal out of that refrigerator. Oh. It's just whatever. If you got anything cold, he going to get in there and take something out of it. Cooler, just, freezer, anything. He going to get in it like a damn raccoon or something. Beer and jelly. That's it. Well. That's it. Well. Raccoon eat garbage. I eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Well, Arby's. Hardy's. Raccoon don't know better not to steal is what the point I'm trying to make. And got little grubby, greedy hands. Raccoon has slender piano playing fingers. Well. I, I got my fingers are manly. You got stubby big fat fingers, I give you that, yeah. Well, I'd call those manly well, fingers. I call them stubby fat. You don't want no man coming in here with raccoon fingers. Hey, you I go, guess hey. Right, if a man is big boy, then yes. You got big, big boy fingers. Always look like he's going to put a tray on your hand. Hamburger on it. That's what it look like. I wish somebody would put a hamburger on a tray on my hand. Well. I would eat it and say thank you. You'd be taking it to somebody if you's big boy. If he don't eat it himself, I mean, not while he's at work. He obviously is eating something. Well, not at work. He's waiting a table. Big boy, I don't think he's a waiter. I think he owns the place. Well, why is he holding a tray with something on it then? He got a plate just, with a hamburger just show on you? a tray. Well, look, look ahead. Look, it's what you get he, in here. I Come on in. Bringing it to your table is what he's doing. 
None of the mascots serve food in their restaurants, Jackie. Except for Big Boy. He does. Big Boy, if they, you know, if somebody, say a waitress didn't call in. You okay. Know, to, she didn't Maybe. call to work, he'll jump in on the line. Ron McDonald ain't going to do that. Uh, Burger King ain't going to do that. I will grant you that. Tony Big Boy's the only one that's going to get back here and get his apron dirty or his overalls dirty. He is a hard worker. Well, yes. That's the point I'm trying to make. He could, you could still own the place and, and help out every now and then if, if you, you know, somebody doesn't come cause in sick or whatever. So Big Boy possibly, if the chips are down, will jump in and save a day. Well, yeah. Ron McDonald. He ain't going to do nothing. Burger King. Never see him back at. He Man, is he a royalty. king. Yeah, royalty. He, he does like, magic. Yeah. He ain't going to like, he'd like look down on you like, do what? Now, you know who was always back in there working was uh, uh, damn Wendy's. She works, yeah. She worked drive through. Wendy uh, but her the damn old uh, Dave Thomas. I was talking about the little girl, Dad. redhead girl. I, no, she, I think he had her working too, well, the yeah, whole family. The whole family, he'd get to work, yeah. But yeah, he always back there uh, pulling the uh, Sam burger out. And they'd be like, Dave, what? I can't believe you're selling these chicken sandwiches. He, it's cheap. And he'd he, go like, well, you got a lot to learn. He's born, though. He's just a regular old man. The rest of them clown. Uh, big boy, I guess, cartoon. I don't know what that is. But, you know, King, you know, they got something to it. Wendy's, there ain't no reason for a, a child to want to go to, to, to Wendy's. No, they don't have. But there'd be even less reason if you put... Damn Dave Thomas and clown makeup. Oh, I don't want to even think about Keep, that. Man's in the grant. It's okay. So far, everybody we've mentioned is already dead. So we ain't got no trouble. But you don't but don't be saying things like that. He passed on. Don't dress right. him up we like can't a clown. Kill, you can't kill Ron McDonald. They just he ain't real. drag somebody else and into the closet and put him in a clown drag and then have him go out there and go like, da 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 Well, Fred Wheeler's getting up there. He, you know. Fred, you want Fred Willard no, to be I the don't new want, Ron McDonald? I don't want. He was my Ron McDonald years, years ago. He was the first like, one. You're talking he? about damn Today Show. You're not Fred Willard. Who? Fred Willard. Which he, one's which? Willard Scott. Willard, Willard Scott. Scott. Fred Willard, long time beloved comedian. Yeah. Got caught in a porn theater. All but right, who I has don't. not I know. among us? I don't want to talk about him if that's all you got to say about him. I'm talking well, about no, him. he's done years and years of legendary work. Well, I'm, I don't know who he no, is. But to mind also, who he is. But I like, I talk about uh, Willard Scott. Is that right? Willard Scott? Willard Scott, 100 years old. And he used to be Ron McDonald. He was used the first to one. get on there and tell. Now, I don't want him to die, but by bringing his name up, I, we feel, may sa- have, folks, I feel safer just bringing his name up than, than, you know, somebody younger like you did last week. If you missed uh, last week's podcast, we mentioned the. Red State Update, curse. Well, everybody's talking about gu- curses and ghosts and this and that, and none of it's true. We mentioned uh, mere weeks before their passing, we talked about Mickey Rooney. We talked about James Garner, and we talked about damn Robin Williams. Now, he's the only one young, we, you know, don't didn't, you know, was sad how he went, but the other two, they, like I said, already had a foot in the grave. They'd been around for a long time, had a good long life. And so now people think if we mention them on this podcast that we are signing their death warrant. Well, that's what people say. People say all sorts of stuff. It, it ain't true. Ain't nothing to it. Ain't no such thing as curses or ghost birds or anything like it. That's what happens. People get on the computer and talk. It's the same thing. People go down the square and talk, and all this stuff gets spread around. It's a bunch of nonsense is what it is. But if there is anything to it, I mean, you get it in your head that, you know, I don't want to. It sounds like if I'm saying somebody's name, I want them to die. That's not the case. Like Willis Scott just fine and whoever else I said mess the name up, whatever. He, well, Fred Willard, he said, besides going into whatever, I don't know anything about him. I don't want him to die. So far, we might have killed Fred Willard, no. Willard Scott, anybody who's ever played a fast food mascot. Oh, Hopefully everyone is okay. Well, I, I'll say this right now. If Hamburglar's gone, they ain't going to miss that. Apparently they don't have a three strikes law in McDonald land. Huh? 
He should be serving hard time. I just by don't now. like the sound it makes every time it used to have a commercial come on there. That noise. Go, robble, robble. I don't even don't start it. I'd, robble, scream, robble. I'd scream across the damn store to turn that, and I usually don't use this kind of language, but I say turn that shit off. I scream at the top of my lungs. Rem- <laughs> Hamburglar make Jackie so mad. I don't like the sound of it. Well, you should have seen it one Halloween. Some kids come in the store dressed up. I guess their parents worked at McDonald's and they got half off uh, company mascot costumes. So one kid was dressed up as a Grimace and one kid was dressed up as Hamburger. No, that no. And one was Birdie. And Bird and the monster are fine. It's a, number one, it, you, why you want your kid to dress up like a criminal? Well, I why, think I don't they think probably it's, got a discount. I don't care about the Parents work at McDonald's. There's got, they, there's got to be another costume for your child to wear than and dressing up like you know, that. You don't putting that out there for children. This is what a crimp, you know, be like this, make that damn noise and, and, and steal, but rob. Jackie after. was trying to be polite, and he was like, here you go, and here you go, and... Uh, I'm not going to encourage it. Uh, but he gave him some candy, and then the kid goes, robble, robble, and Jackie said, Dad, it just, he lost it. Well, I took it back. I, uh, number one, I you know, I don't want to support that kind of thing, and then you act that way. I'm a, I, I'm not going to encourage that from a from a... Ten year old up to a seventy year old. I know that kind of behavior in here. I you don't come here expecting a handout. That's what I'm saying. What is the behavior? Just going robble robble? Oh, don't start it. Criminal be that number one, yeah. There's no reason to go around going to that noise. Robble, right, robble. Don't start it. I'll knock the hell out of you. I ain't gonna listen to it. I don't like it. And and then people dressing up like a cow, you know, encouraging that kind of that's, that's what's supposed to be good for children right there. That's what you want your child to grow up be, something to make a noise like it and, and rob, be a thief. It's pitiful. I don't as think it's a role model for children out there. I don't think it's, you know, I know you got to share your hamburgers and all that stuff, but find another way. This clown's fine. It's silly. I get tired of it, but it don't rhyme me up a wall. That's fine. Big bird's fine. I don't like, you know, monster's fine. But criminals, there's no... No cause for it. As far as I know, Hamburglar only stole hamburgers. Well, it's stealing is stealing. It don't matter what it is you steal. Now, what about Wimpy? Wimpy? Popeye, Popeye, Popeye. Wimpy. He also stole hamburgers. Well, he had a... He wasn't a... Cr- you know, remember your family... go. He had addiction is what it was. Food, you know, that's... Food issues. Yes, I wouldn't call him. He, you know, he said he was gonna pay you. It well, really yeah, he just running up that. a he tab. He running up a tab. That's right. Now I, I guarantee you, if he, well, you figure if Whip if did inherit lots of money as opposed to paying off his tab, he would probably just buy a bunch more hamburgers. But that's because he got addiction. But either way, he means well. He's do, you know, he ain't knocking you over the head and running off with your hamburger. I'd like to make a correction, too. Here, earlier I said um, that Don Jekyll Jr. in prison wow. uh, may have met someone like Charles S. Dutton had a Malcolm X, uh, some sort of conversion. Charles S. Dutton is not in Malcolm X. I was thinking of Alien 3. I confused Malcolm X and Alien 3, and I apologize for that. Wow. That's racist, isn't it? Well, how would that be racist? Well, you call me racist all the time. You mess up something like that and don't say something that's right, then it's racist. I just mixed up Alien 3 and Malcolm X. They were out, you know, within a couple of years of each other. Well, I number one, if you get Malcolm X confused with a monster, that's being racist. And number two is not knowing who the black person is. Charles S. D- Dutton was in uh, Get on the Bus, fine film. They shot that par- partially here in Murfreesboro, Jackie. Yeah. Uh, but I would say I'm not racist, that you're the racist. I, how am I racist? Always looking for other racists. I am not. You always look at it for me. That's reverse racist. You always say it to me, and I say it to you, and you turn around and call me a racist again. Always. I'd say, Jackie, you're race baiting. I ain't doing no such thing. All I'm having is a conversation about film history. Films of the early 90s, Alien 3, might have been late 90s. Let's say mid-90s. All right. When did Malcolm X come out, Jackie? I don't know when Malcolm X came out. 92? 
I don't know. Alien 3, probably 96, I'm going to say. Neither one of them. I know what Alien is because, you know, we on. No, Alien 4. No, Alien 3 and Malcolm X come out probably early, early 90s. All right. Alien 4. See, then I mixed up Alien 4 and Alien 3. Alien 4, I believe, come out 96, 97, possibly 98. Well, you said you think he's in Malcolm X, then you think all all black actors are in Malcolm X movie. That's no. what you're saying. Jackie, all of them. I think Charles S. Dutton, also known as Rock, is an actor of such uh, beauty well, and beard. power and dignity. I like that the Rock. Any important movie of the last forty years, I. I automatically assume he was in it. From Malcolm X to Alien 3 to get on the bus. No, you think thinking of Morgan Freeman, not Charles S. Dutton. Morgan Freeman is in all No, Morgan movies. Freeman went to Las Vegas with Kevin Klein and lost all respect from me. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I guess we have just killed Charles S. Dutton, Morgan Freeman, Kevin Klein. Possibly the cast of Alien 3 and 4. Again, all of them up there. But Scorny Weaver's doing... I mean, she's... She's... They're all... Looks older. good. I think they got nothing to do with whether they look good or not. All them people got to be... Charles says Dutton over. is too tough to be killed by damn podcast curse. Well, I Maybe the so. others. There ain't no podcast curse. Number one, you ain't got to worry about it. But yeah, the others. So I guess we should talk about the news some, Jackie. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let's let you take your pick. Which, right. I'm gonna read some things off here. You tell me what you'd like to t- I discuss. Any fish in the nose are probably all of us awful. And we have to do it in 15 minutes. Right. We got 15 minutes left. All right, Harry Reid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll just stop it. Harry <laughs> Reid. <laughs> Harry Reid got in trouble some. Now talk about. Speaking of racist. Right. Right, right into this one. About how racist you are, Jackie. No, I'm not racist. But he wasn't racist to black people. He's racist to Chinese. Well, that's what you just said was kind of racist. What? He was racist, I would say, to Asian. The Asian. All right, Asians. I'm sorry I don't say it right. I'm sorry. Asians. He was racist to Asians. Harry Reid. Which, which does include Chinese, am I right? It Just, does include So them. they were offended as well. That's all I want to get, make sure people understand. Maybe it was. Let me, let me pull this up here. I'm starting, folks, I'm just a little behind the scenes. I'm starting to bring in. Uh, a laptop computer so we can look up, so we can read news stories aloud to you. I'm having trouble getting it to connect here. So I'll just, as it's loading, I'll just read the headline. It says, Harry Reid, this is from Washington Post, Harry Reid just told Asian Americans they're not smarter than anybody else. He does stuff like this a lot. <laughs> he does get in trouble. People talk about Joe Biden. People talk about other people being racist. Harry Reid says a lot of dumb stuff. Now I ain't and so- he's not likable. At least Joe Biden, to a certain type of person, he's oh, likable. If you are a Yankee in a bar, you know a million Joe Bidens. And you're like, oh, here comes old Larry. <laughs> oh. But Harry Reid, even if you're a Yankee in a bar, you ain't going to like no, Harry sure. Reid. No, sure. Now, when I'm laughing, I don't want y'all to think I'm laughing at racism. I'm not. Racism is terrible. I'm laughing at Harry Reid. Here is when racism is good. When someone you hate gets in trouble for being racist. Well, yeah. Now, yeah. we can agree on that, can't a- we? Absolutely. Everybody could shake hands on that one, I hope. And it should be enjoying Harry Reid right now. So, here's what Harry Reid said. He was uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid was in front of the Asian Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. There's an Asian Chamber of Commerce. Well, yeah, well. And he said, the Asian population is so productive. I don't think you're smarter than anybody else, but you've convinced a lot of us you are. So... That's offensive in like eight different 
ways. The stereotype of Asians being smarter. Then he says they're not actually smarter, but that they've deceived everyone else into thinking that they're smarter. Yeah. And he says they're productive, which I guess is racist too. But I'm now sure. back in World War Twos, oh, that's God. where some match come from. What? How? Well, which they used to call Japanese. They say sneakies, things like that. That's yep, where that. He's just. Stare, I ain't saying the stereotypes right. Of course, back in they, you know, as far as Pearl Harbor was concerned, they were sneaky. Other than that, I don't know. That's how race stereotypes, racist stereotypes get started. started right. Now, they I'm, seize on something like blowing up Pearl Harbor, then they're like, "Oh, let's just turn this into a bigger thing." Well, now, now they run Nissan around these parts, and uh, Japanese people come in the store, nice as can be. I don't think it's snake at all. So we'll make that clear. Harry Reid also said he's having trouble at this meeting of the Asian Chamber of Commerce keeping his wong straight. Oh. Now, people keep making Asian jokes because everybody thinks it's still okay to make jokes about Asians. We've got to learn. Uh, it's not. It's not okay to make Asian jokes because of of racism and and human dignity. But also, they're getting madder and madder. So there's no there's no way to do it anymore without getting in trouble. You used to think, oh, we can do them, but nope, you can't. Jan Lewis would not be able to have a career in this climate of today. Just killed Jerry Lewis. Also, Mickey Rooney. Oh, hard to watch. Damn Moon River movie. Charles Dutton is in that, right? Um, I don't. Moon River. Hard to watch because of one man, and that man's name is Mickey Rooney. R.I.P. And kind of boring, let's be honest. I see you back for stepping this. I know him. Yeah. So people used to think like you can make fun of Asians because uh, it's bad enough that people go, whoo, whoa, and you can make your point about racism, but it's they don't get that mad. So it's like you couldn't say the same stuff you might say about, say, Hispanics or, or African Americans, but you could get a, a little shot in there at Asians and say satire. There ain't but one man that can say all this stuff. Everybody else try to be like him. And you can't do it, hey, but nobody but one, Don Rickles. Don Rickles. He can say the worst, anything, any minority group, it don't matter what he says, still funny. Check but that's it. it. He's only one. I don't want Don Rickles to die. Oh, no, I did. Uh, I, I, there ain't no curse, number one. I don't want him to either. I, you know, thank goodness that we still got somebody that can say awful things. Right. If it wasn't for Don Rickles, nobody it'd would make a, racist remarks at all. It'd be over with. Well, I guess Harry Reid. Well, yeah, he, but you, it ain't funny. No, not I funny. Mean, no, it's just, funny because he said Harry Reid getting Reed, in trouble. In trouble's funny. What he does to no. get in trouble, not funny. There's no. no joke that is is funny enough to withstand Harry Reid telling it. Harry Reid, uh, back in uh, 2008, said President Obama would get elected because he was light skinned. This yep. is a quote. Yeah. And had no Negro dialect unless he wanted to have one. Those are quotes from Harry Reid. Said he talked real good, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, got in some trouble. He said Mitt Romney hasn't paid taxes in 10 years. Said Kirsten uh, Gillibrand was the hottest member of the Senate. Said tourists, you could smell them coming from a mile away. Wow. In Washington, D.C., it gets hot. He said, them tourists start stinking. They come in the Capitol. We're like, what? good God. Luckily, he did. He just kept it to tourists and did not specify any particular demographics within those groups of tourists. So, Harry Reid in trouble for being an idiot. <laughs> Later on, I'll get old Fred Thompson's. Uh, Twitter, see if he said anything about it. <laughs> Jackie, would you like to talk about uh, Kevin Sorbo? Kevin yeah, so Sorbo. Her Hercules, yeah. Did you watch Hercules? I know what it is. He's on TV. It's on at the store sometimes. 
This is another, I guess it, there is a theme in this one of uh, uh, people getting accused of being racist. Just like Jackie was kind of racist earlier. What? Uh, when he accused me of being racist. But you why? And I guess uh, Harry Reid being real racist. When? And now some people, some people <laughs> are saying that Hercules is racist. Well, Hercules is racist. Well, Jackie, Hercules, Kevin Sorbo, star of uh, God Is Not Dead, which is currently playing at Coley's Christian Cinemas and at Redbox. Huh? But at Coley's Christian Cinemas, they have uh, gone in and made it more religious, which they like to do. At, Some know. of the Christian movies ain't religious enough for Coley standards, and I, I understand that. Yeah. So Coley's just went in. They cut out about the middle half. And they just put in a choir singing old time yeah. gospel songs. But yeah. it's good. It's rousing. It's good. Get you on your feet and you know, get your hands up in the air and do a little praising. Take, yeah. a, take a little praise break and then finish up the movie. Name another movie to do that. No, I can't, can't think of one. I can, nope. But well, maybe what they could do to Breakfast at Tiffany's is cut Mickey Rooney out and just put in some gospel numbers. Make that better, yeah. I'd want, you know, yeah. Hercules actor Kevin Sorbo. Calls Ferguson protesters animals. I, I, yeah. Losers. I Ferguson riots have very little to do with the shooting of the young man, Sorbo wrote. I guess this was on his Facebook. So you have more room to be racist than on Twitter. On Twitter, if you want to go into a long diatribe, you got it's going to be like three or four tr- tweets, and it's hard to read them because you got to go back, start at the beginning. Uh, uh, Facebook, you can get on there one shot. Let's face it, on Twitter, if you want to be racist, you can achieve that two, three words. You don't need to go on yeah. you know, Facebook. You can go on and on about it, right? That's how it works. Yeah, I mean, brevity is the soul of racism. Twitter's few words, Facebook longs words. That's what you, you tell me. I'm trying to learn on this. Doing it's, good, Jackie. I'm trying to learn on this. He's helped me. It's an excuse to be the losers these animals truly are. Wow. It is a tipping point to frustration built up over years of not trying but blaming everyone else. The man for their failures. It's always someone else's fault when you give up. Hopefully this is a reminder to the African Americans. Hercules left a little uh, don't forget for African Americans wow. on his Facebook. Like tie a string around your finger. And remember uh, that your president has only made things worse, not better. The, their president the, voted in. Well, what? it's white people that voted for him, too. It, it ain't all black people. See, I don't like people saying one thing's everybody's fault. It, I don't like it. It's just, uh, it ain't all black people's fault. A lot of white people. Well, yeah, and Asians. No, I'm not to sound like Harry. Reid. Let's, let's lay this out on the table. What a- was the Asians' part in electing Obama? Yeah. I don't know the numbers. I'm sure a lot I, of I think Asians they, they voted. All, they're all too ashamed to take credit for it now. Ain't, no, ain't nobody going to speak not up Not just today. Asians, all races. All races. Mexicans, Asians, uh, uh uh, Just uh, stop. All right, I tried to remember all of them. But they, uh, people backing away from Obama. Now you're hearing a lot of people say, well, I never voted for Obama. Yeah. Well, somebody did. Pitiful. I guess it was all them, them ghosts. Now, I don't like all the other stuff that Kevin Sorbo said, but he don't need to blame Obama just on black people. That ain't, that ain't something that's right to do. What? Oh, blaming black people for, yeah. You yeah. can't just blame no, black No, you can't. No. They can take some of the blame. Sure, because sure, sure. we're all a man. We're, we're all, all in yeah. this together. Yeah, that's right. They, 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 they ain't got to do down racial lines. If you do something stupid, you do something stupid. Pay. I don't care what color you are. That's what Kevin Sorbo said. He said all that. Yeah. What did Hercules what, got in trouble. What did Lou Fregna say? No, that's a hawk. No, he Hercules too. That's my Hercules. Oh, Hercules. Oh, Luke Hercules. Rick, no. I don't want to know what he says about first. I never seen Hulk's Hercules. Oh, he's good. He needs. I, that's gonna be our clip of the week. I'm, look on off his Facebooks. 
Because that's where you put a lot, right? I put a lot of Hercules on our Facebooks. Get on there and and look for Hercules, Lou Fregna Hercules. That's what uh, I like. And if he did say something about uh, uh, Ferguson, I'll find that and we'll put that on there too. Now hopefully Lou Ferrigno's comments are more about healing and coming together. Well, it, you know, that's what people need to do, you know. I don't know how. I don't know how it's going no, to happen. No, I can't I imagine that. I have no that. clue. Yeah. Is, I mean, just not going to, yeah. Fred Thompson, reporter jabs Hillary royalty. Who gets to hold her crown while she speaks? <laughs> Traditionally, person to right of one holding scepter. <laughs> scepter. <laughs> Obama on rising education costs. Can't just keep throwing money at problem. So, yeah. he's thinking some sort of conveyor belt system. <laughs> Obama running that conveyor belt. Right damn, I love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Obama spends 48 hours in D.C., then back to Vineyard vacation, probably kicking himself for leaving a list of tea times in the Oval Office. <laughs> Get that tea ready for me. <laughs> tea time. Yeah. I love it. I, you know, a lot of stuff going on in the world is awful right now. You got Iraq, people cutting heads off. The, the Ferguson and people saying awful things, this, that. But I tell you what, thank goodness we got Fred Thompson's Twitter brings levity to this, you know, life of ours, what we got to go through these days. Thank you kindly, Fred Thompson. I appreciate that. I don't know why I had this computer up trying to look at news and Harry Reid said this just and Hercules. Straight, just go to Fred straight, Thompson's Twitter. Straight to it. And you just gonna you just kick back and even though he may remind you a few things that's awful in the world like Obama, you know, Hillary, you still, he can just make you smile and laugh about it. You know, that's, you know, that's what That's you, a gift. That's a gift when someone can do that. Yeah. We are blessed. And I tell you what, now, some people are teaching me. You, he's teaching me uh, uh, f- face. I won't say, but it's Facebook. He's teaching me that and Twitter and all the kind things that y'all say on there. Race your views for this here. But I, you bring a tear to an old man's eye. I thank y'all kind of that. It makes, yeah. it means the world to me. That anybody out there can enjoy anything in this world. Yeah, thanks for listening to all this mess. Yeah. We appreciate that, yeah. So get on there and rates and reviews. Rates and reviews on which yeah, now let me see if I can get this right. It's Facebooks, Twitters, iTunes. That's it. All on the computer. Well you All can those. also rate us and review us on Stitcher Radio. I, I just started uh, Stitcher's no our our website, I guess it's just Tumblr now, but Tumblr. go to Tum go to redstateupdate.com after Tumblr. What's Tumblr? So Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook. I know uh, iTunes. There's more on computer. I Stitcher reckon. Radio. I don't know. Stitch Facebooks, Twitters, iTunes. Those we need the... to get on Instagram. Actually, that what might is, help us a little bit. What spread is Spread the word on Instagram. Pictures. How many things can you get on on a computer? It's. I took me this long since we've been doing this to remember those three. I can't. Thank goodness, I'm only doing a hundred because I ain't gonna learn it all. I got three down on the computers. Hopefully, that'll help me carry me to my grave. I can't find Fred Thompson say anything about Harry Ray, but maybe he will tomorrow. We'll get on there tomorrow. Maybe something. he's on vacation. Yeah, well, or the person who writes he his can tweets. take vacations. It's fine for him. Yeah, he, he ain't retired. president. He ain't president. Y'all made sure of that. So he can, he can he don't say a word. He can just. Kick back, do whatever the hell he wants to now. He earned that right. Maybe Obama was going off to play golf to make ISIS think he don't give a shit. Like, like look at me. I'm badass. Well, he don't give a shit, like you said. Well, you can't start cussing now, Jackie. I'm not. I just I said it earlier, like I said back in the day. I say it real quiet like it, so... It's not. It's not quiet enough. Well, it's, I I've don't like it. it. See, I've learned three things on the computer, and I saw to cuss. It's about time we quit doing this. It's you're right. Well, we've only got uh, six more episodes, so uh, as we've said since the beginning, a uh, hundred episodes, and then we are done. This is episode ninety four. Sure. Yeah. So we got episode ninety five. Yeah. Ninety six. 
Yeah, I know how to count. I know how to count. 98, 99, 100. I That's know six how to episodes. Do, I run a business. I know how. what numbers are. Coming up, Doing and we show. hope uh, we get to spend a lot more time looking at Fred Thompson's Twitter on those episodes. Thanks, everybody, for uh, supporting us. Rates and reviews. Rating yeah. and reviews. Thanks for listening. We'll, say uh, five face, Facebook, Squares, iTunes, all on the computer. Thank you kindly.